Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Timmy's Capital of the All the Investors of Evilness. And today we have War of Rudy Spock. And we're going to just see. Today's official date now. This is the sixth War of the Spark box opening video that we have done since the release slash pre-release. And today, these boxes belong to my patron, Jake, also known as Jake L. JL. Is that a company? That may be a company. Am I going to get in trouble for saying that? I think I just called out a company. All right, so as of the filming, today's date is officially Sunday, right after pre-release with the Living Twister. And um, the prices have not moved much. We're still holding pretty steady. Expected value per box is averaging still about $128 per box as the market tries to find its place. We have the Eternal God Okra from... The barbecue restaurant. Zombie God Bar Okra. All right. That is the very first time I think we've gotten uh, the Okra. All right. That's a little bit of a change of pace now, isn't it? And we're going right to the cards bash. I think that's so cool. I love that card. I think it might just be the artwork. Something about that is just a really neat card. But again, I'm a sucker for specialty lands. Especially when my favorite part on specialty lands, because I don't know if I knew how to play magic, I may change my opinion. My favorite part is when it has the basic colorless with no coming into play, tap, or drawback. So you have the basic colorless tap source, and then you have a special ability. Those are my favorite lands. Always felt that way. Okay, so moving on to the Narset's reversal for the nice couple dollar rare. By the way, I think that's the most boring, crappy mountain artwork there is. Just completely laying that out there. What a lame. Lame artwork on a mountain. Just my opinion. All right, roll reversal. So, anyway, so uh, obviously uh, the hype remains very strong. Uh, I have not received any words or information on when the allocation window is going to end yet. We've got a nice... God, it's so weird to see Jace and be like, oh, it's $2. And look at that finisher. Ooh, look at that assassin. First, very first foil. have not received any word of uh, any form of updates. It appears to be massively strong sales still. And uh, I don't think this is going to change anytime soon. We got the arc bow for the couple dollars. Boy, foiling looks very nice today. Must be the lighting. Must be the lighting. Always, it's amazing how much things change based on lighting. All right, folks, we've got the cruel, the jace, the heartwarming, and there's our Gideon with our big black blade. Ah, uh, Gideon, your big black blade. We love it. There it is, folks. Uh, 15? Is he 15? 20 dollars? I have no idea. These prices are so wacky. Alright, well, that's a good way to start it with another couple dollar spark double. That's nice. God, you're getting a lot of the two dollar rares. Holy smokes, Jake, you're, you're holding, this is a very strong opening so far. And there he is. Rudy's so boring, he got the boar god. And we've got a giant growth foily guy. Wow. Again, three mythics in the first chunk of the box. Again. If the history repeats itself, we should have four Mythics in the first segment. So we should have another Mythic in the next few packs. And Summary. Could be wrong, but that's uh, that's based on the previous openings. That's what's been happening recently. So, yeah. Lily, I told you! God, I told you! There it is! Oh, God, Liliana. Whoa. I, just like I said, if previous openings, we get four Mythics in the first chunk. And guess what? That's it. No more Mythics now till either the end of the box or for the whole box. Wow. What an epic start, man. And the fifth myth. I was wrong. I was wrong. Look at that. Ronus Zombie. Five Mythics already. Holy crap. We just transferred from... Wow, this is a cool box opening to... Holy smokes. Wow. Five Mythics with Gideon and Lily plus a bunch of two $3 rares. This is a extremely strong opening. If we get a foil rare that's strong or a foil mythic, then forget it. We could have a 10 out of 10, everybody. Perfect 10 opening today. And an oh my god! Are you serious? Six mythics in the not even the first half of the box? Oh my god! God, slap the tacos around the room. Unbel oh, okay, wait a minute. All right, hang on. Wait a minute now. This is getting... Okay. Three. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, seven mythics. Wait a minute. Okay. Now I'm going into suspicious cat. This is getting a little... This is getting a little suspicious now. Seven mythics in half a box. Eh, wait a minute. 
Oh, something, there is something evil about this opening. God, look at the coloring on that card. Oh, my. Seven Mythics? Oh, my God. How do you get seven Mythics and half a booster box? Eight Mythics? Slap my testicle. Eight Mythic box opening. The goblins are assaulting everybody. This is outrageous. I'm deleting the video. I'm keeping these cards. Jake, you're never going to see this, so I can talk about anything I want to say at this point. This is... How, eight Mythics? Another Narset's reversal for another couple dollars. Double tapping on a Narset. Stop double tapping Narset, everybody. Oh my... I've never... This is outrageous. This is outrageous. Fiend of the Wolves. I have an eight Mythic box. How do you have eight Mythics in half a booster box? That is shenanigans. Like, that's got to be a glitch. Massacre Girl. There's no way. There's no flipping way. That's just... We're not even halfway through the box! What on earth? Another card's bashing. Wow, okay. And I guess the rares, we're just going to get all the good rares just multiple times. Because we're just getting... This is just... I swear these things don't feel like they're properly sorted or something. And what is that weird creature weird? I'm telling you guys, I swear many times, I feel like these new war boxes... Because of the Planeswalker thing. Another couple dollar Vivian. Up, oh, Foil Rare. Oath of Kaya is entered the chat. I feel like because of this Planeswalker every pack thing, it's it's kind of disrupted the track printing and kind of creating some weird things. Crank go for the nice one to two dollars. That's my that's how it feels right now with this set. Because it, the sorting has just been very weird. Alright, everybody, time to say it. What's his name? Philippity. Blappity, onomatopoeia, googity giggity. I would like somebody to at least hashtag that in the chat, please. All right, here we go. And Othakaya, non-foil this time. That is insane, man. That line of mythics is the most redonkulous crap I've seen. That is just dumb. Single combat with an Augur Bolas. Wasn't this a reprint from like M12 or M13? Why is that an Augur? That sounds really familiar. No, no, it was an auger of something else, not bolus. That's what it was. Another! Oh, it's not it's not a mythic. <laughs> it's so weird to see something like what the heck happened to this pack? It's not even centered right. Do you guys see that? It's not even like it's not even centered. It's like off-centered. This is a really wacky box, everybody. Holy smokes. Plain wide celebration. What a bizarre way to start an opening video today, folks. Shows. You can't predict the future. You can never predict the future. You know, with how bad Magic went through in 2016, 2017 was a devastating year. And now all of a sudden, you know, Magic just skyrocket. You can't predict the future, folks. I tell everyone the same thing. Mobilize District. You know, always remember that it is very, very difficult to predict how things are going to unfold in this world. You can, no matter how knowledgeable or how much history you have. Rowl, the Storm Conduct. Well, oh my god. And the box won. Holy smokes. I guess we burned out all the mythics already. Ravnica at war. That is the most outrageous, outrageous start for an opening video, man. I mean, just an eight mythic box with all the good rares, pretty much. Wow. Oh my god. I know, my patron Jake's like, Rudy, Rudy, stop, stop, don't open the second box. Please just give me a refund in the second box. We are, I'm, I'm happy. I got everything I wanted. Can we, can we stop there? Can we, can we please stop there? Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go right to box two. Not even going to slow down. Not going to stop. Not going to go to the bathroom. Not going to watch anything inappropriate. Starting out with a Domri. Slapping out with a $2 Domri, folks. We're just going to go right to it. Jumping right into this, folks. No messing around today, everybody. And right to the Vivian again with the Wanderer's Strike. Wanderer's Strike. Remember, if you say it with an accent, it makes you more intelligent, folks. Everybody knows that. Always remember that, folks. And Mobilize District again with a Screeching Rudy Raptor. You can never have enough Screeching Rudy Raptors. You like that for Screeching Rudy Raptor? Wait, that's a bird. God, I'm uneducated. It happens, folks. That's it happens. And another submarine. What do we need a flipping submarine for? Watch this this box now. Just look, zero mythic box. Watch. 
the gods of magic. Like, oh, we got too many. Let's overcompensate in the next box. Give them nothing. So then his eight mythics average out to four per box. Let's give them no mythics. Watch. Going to be complete hose town. God, first box, man. And, oh, God, it's a rare, not a mythic. Dr. Uji has entered the chat. Whew, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And a Johnny again for the... Oh! Oh, I it's not the... Whew, okay. Foil rare, commencing the end game. End games always throw me off. I think it's finale card. I mean, come on, look. If you look at it real quick, like, you know, it's kind of very easy to misconstrue the two. I'm just quick quick glancing and not reading and not knowing what magic the goothering is. Of course, wouldn't be magic without a Hydra. Well, uh, well, it looks like, Jake, uh, you were right. Box two, just like you're screaming at the camera to not open it. No mythics. <laughs> oh, God! Come on! Are you serious? Double tap, Lily? Oh, my God! Come on! Dude! Home fries, corn fritter, tater tot skillet. Wow! Whole, you can go front and center. Double tap Lily. Well, this is probably going to be the luckiest patron of all time. Jake, dude, you paid $79 a box. And you've got nine mythics already. <laughs> Holy crap. What a what a just absolute mad lad. What, what a ridiculous situation. Soren's like, I should be a mythic. I'm a special person. I know you're a special person. I know you are. We're all special. I tell myself that every day when I'm hiding in my backyard. All right, folks, here we go. And another God, Karns Bastion three times. That's our third Karns Bastion in two boxes, everybody. Holy smokes. Isn't that just crazy? And there's a finale of promise. Mythic number two. All right, another. So let's see. We're, uh, we're approaching. Actually, this looks like a normal one. If we're almost halfway through the box and we got two Mythics... Friend of the Wolves. That's exactly where the uh, average is. If you average four per box, we should be at two, and that's exactly where we're at. Ravnica at War. Wow. Isn't that crazy, everybody? It just shows, man. We do this stuff. The, you do the swings and Elder Spell. We did not get that in the first box. I think it's probably one of the best spell cards in, the, in this particular uh, set, man. That thing is ridiculous. But again, you're talking to a guy who looks homeless. There he is. Fold about the baby. You're talking all the lost. With another Goblin Assault team. That was the exact Assault team we got in the first one. What are the odds of getting the same foil? That seems highly improbable. Okay. That's strange. A nut. Really? Four Karns Bastions? In a screeching Rudy Zombie Cat? Four Karns Bastions? Really? Four and two boxes? That's, again, really weird. How do you get four? Tamio again for the nice $2. That's so strange. So weird. Man, okay, that's... All right, whatever. That's... Well, we should go with it. Plain wide celebration for the nice 87 and a half cents. Hmm. Very, very strange layout. All right, everybody. And right to the Narset's reversal for the $2.17 and a third penny. We are churning through the packs today, guys. Oh, there's our Bolas of Citadel, the very first one today. We did not get that in the uh, first box. We just opened them. It's our first one. That's uh, one of the good rares that we missed in the first box, everybody. And another Massacre Girl. That is the, we have just triple tapped Massacre Girl. I think uh, doing Massacre Girl three times in two boxes is plenty. I don't think we need to do uh, Casualties of War, War for the second time already. Yep, we're entering the last 12 packs of the box. We've only got uh, two Mythics, so this is definitely back to a normal box. Spark Double for the nice $2.74 and one eighth of a penny. All right. Here we go, folks. Gideon, Neff, Samut, and Masker. Really? All right, looks like we're doing Masker Girl the fourth time. All right, everybody. Uh, I think four times in uh, two boxes. A little overkill on fooling around with Masker Girl, but you know what? Appears that's what's happening. With this 10 street again, in the exact same foil again. The finisher again. Even the, what? Dude, that's strange. I don't remember getting duplicate in the foils. What are the odds of that? Seems highly improbable. Nissa, who shakes the world with her fist. Ah, for $2.39 in one-fifth of a penny. 
Well, I see a Jace in our future. Nope, I lied. Ah, Distinguished Advocate. Ah, I can't even open this pack. This better be a good pack. I just struggled. I got stuck. All right, here we are. Let's see. Jace's Triumph. Flux, Dovin, and a finale of glory of Mythic number three. Yep, yeah, looks like uh, box two is going to average out. I bet we average right at the four. Wow, 12 Mythics in two boxes. Yep, yeah, there it is. Finale. God, Lee, how many finales have we gotten? Another Mythic. Ew! Oh, I just I hate doing that. Uncommon Foil Nebraska. Dude, that's like six finales that I think we got. Okay, that's interesting. Oath of Kaya for the third time. We're tapping Kaya. Oh, I think three taps on Kaya in, in one sitting is a little much, folks. I think we should give her a break. Ah, right, here we go. And right to the big old Parhelion vehicle ship. Ah, boy, these last few packs just do not want to open. Holy craps. All right. Here we go. Finale. <laughs> Another finale. Holy crap. With the foil planes. Holy, is that seven finales? Oh my god. Well, I guess I was wrong. I guess you ended up with... And ending with the Feather of the Redeemed. How many mythics do we end up with? Holy crap. That was incredible. Dude, Jake, what an opening. One, two, so three, four. So four finales. Uh, five. So you got five finales. Two lilies. Uh, one Gideon. And four gods in the boar. Wow. Five, nine, ten, 12, 13 mythics. All right. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are having a great day. As always, take care of yourself. And I appreciate the honor and the privilege of entertaining everybody. And again, thank you to the 3,000 plus patrons who make this possible. That everybody can enjoy it. And again, Jake, thanks for being a good sport and being in the Thunderdome today. As always, everybody have a fantastic day. Eat yourself a taco. Seriously. It makes you feel better. And they're healthy. Well, don't put all the bad stuff in it. Actually, yeah, put the bad stuff in it.